on this episode is going to be all fun. We prepped a block and of course sent the block and one of the pieces to the machine shop. Now it's all done. Bored and honed, even decked, it's so good. We ported, started porting the intake manifold. Yes, finished up the P30. Also made the gasket, the intake gasket and port matched it. And yes, we started port matching or pocket porting the head. All the details are there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. We even start talking about how we do the VTEC conversion for the B20 VTEC. And yes, started balancing the pistons for all the details. Yes, to make more power efficiently. So yes, this one is just for you. Let's go. As mentioned in the first episode, is the whole setup with just the GSR cam. So the block is back. And look at that, freshly bored and honed. So it's eighty four point five. Let's look at it closer. Oh yeah, so clean. Virtually brand new bore because it's eighty four point five, not eighty four. And we we'll resurface the deck just a little bit, you know, just to make sure it's clean and flat because it's already flat. So yep. Now let's go to the P thirty intake. Here it is. We cut it open and showing you before we start porting so now let's go here we started flaring out the opening with a carbide so we get the shape of good we actually have a complete detailed video of the p30 intake and we finish it like this yes link will be in the de description below for the full video of the p30 intake manifold all right you can check it out how we did it the taper that we go for and all the other details so yes it will be in the description below here's the intake gasket Here's, this is how we port match it properly or well. We draw, we scribe an outline, the outline of the intake flange onto the intake gasket that we did. And of course, some people would say you need a dowel and all that. Yes, if you only have a two bolt intake flange, but this is a 10 bolt flange. So you barely have any movement it just vertically up and down because it, it's a 10 bolt with a two, two horizontal plane, not diagonal. So here it is, you can see the outline. So now we can bolt up the intake gasket onto the intake flange as it is, how, is, how it usually is on the head and we can actually port match it. But now let's go to the porting bench to start with the head. Here we are, we're gonna fully port the exhaust. So we're gonna start with the carbide. We're gonna, we're gonna pop, we're supposed to be just pocket porting the head, but because we're shooting for excellent efficiency, yes, we're gonna fully port the exhaust because this setup is running is going to run a skull 2 alpha header but we know that header scavenge is well so this is just my way to let the header does do its job properly we're gonna make sure the exhaust flows really good because we can take care of the intake later on yes now here this is 80 grit because we got the shape uh, initial shape done so now we're cleaning it up with 80 grit at this point you can see the carbon dust blowing off right having a gas mask here is really really cru crucial you can use a face mask but the gas mask is a lot better because hey guys you gotta take care of your health there's not much we can do if our health is going downward even though we're starting to build good engines we have to take care of our, our health so now we invert the head we're cleaning up the port floors of the exhaust here you can see now this is 80 grit after carbide. So you can quickly see it's starting to clean up good, right? Yeah. Like I said, always wear a gas mask, okay guys? Gotta be safe. All right, now let's go to the bowl. Here we spray some lube. This is the exhaust port bowl. So technically we're just gonna, we're just supposed to just do the pocket porting like this, but since we're shooting for maximum efficiency on the B20, on this B20 VTEC with just the GSR cam, we gotta let the exhaust and the intake flow really good because hey, we're trying to get more power, right? Okay, here you go. Let's look at it closer. Oh yeah, you can see the core shift is still there, but it's starting to look good, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's invert it here in the intake we did a few passes initially because it was kind of dirty but you can see here 
the core shift over there is too deep so we, we don't usually clean that up because if you do it's going to be lopsided as you see on the other side there's not much movement right the core shift is towards the left on this view so because the guide aligns the valves and the valves is where the flow is directed to if you try to clean that that up on the left side it's going to be you know kind of like cockeyed or you know skewed bad so yep now let's go with 120 grit now as you can see because we've done 80 grit on this and the intake at the exhaust i mean so now we go with eight with 120 grit to get it more smoother as you can actually see it's gonna we're gonna show you this to you a little later uh, actually now i'll clip the phone would you look at that oh yeah sorry about the focus look at that and you can still see the car shift is still there right but we're trying to align the whole port together to the valve seat so this is going to be really really good and this is pocket porting all right it's going to be so good like a good good type r oh yeah and plus there's a b20 so this is going to be packing good good torque right all right yeah so we're going to continue working on this and then later on clean clean it up and show you guys but for now let's look at the pistons on the workbench here now the ycp gen 3 is pretty decent pretty good so let's get the weight first on each of the pistons it's all cleaned up so we're going to take the base measurement of the weight like this and write it on the dome so that we can see it we, we usually do it with a piece of paper but the dome is also good enough for here because it's clean okay now we time lapse so it doesn't get too boring all right and there you can see here hold on that so it's 340 on the dot and the other one is 340.8 341.6 and 343 so this is the heaviest so this will receive a lot more work to get it all to be 340 on the dot so we're gonna base it on the first piece we have a video of that of balancing it what to trim you can check it in the description below okay here now we've balanced it let me show you here look we trimmed it in these areas here and there and also here so we get the weight good yes this video is going to be in the description below, all right? Okay, now double check now. All right. We've done this a few times to get close to this. So now we, you see the end result. We leave it one, two, three, four. So it's good. 340 on the dot. So this is also 340 on the dot. 340 on the dot. And also this. So that's not just 0 0.01 grams. It's actually match dead perfect. So there's all four are identical weights. So yep, this is good. And now here's the head. Yes, it's all done. Look at that. As you can see near the bowl, the core shift is still there. We didn't try to clean that out. It's gonna be too big. So this is just smooth. We smoothed that out the whole exhaust, like streamlined it this way. The alpha, skunk to alpha header is gonna scavenge real good. It does its job properly. And you can see here the short turn of the intake. Oh, yes, it's starting to look good, right? And that's just pocket ported, you know? Yep. Yes, it's going to be so good. Oh, yeah. Now here, you can see that. The short turn of the exhaust. Now it's also good and clean. Yes. Now, okay, now let's look at the intake side here. Let's invert the head. Here you can see it's port matched and pocket ported actually the entry we didn't enlarge it we just smoothed it out made it all equal this way with the gasket that we cut is going to be part proper perfect for this and port match the intake manifold together all right here we'll show you this we cleaned up the chamber it's good we didn't really reshape it just cleaned up you know cleaned up the edges and all that so that it's going to be more efficient it's going to pack good the dowels here we're going to move it to the other side this is going to be for a b20 and of course we're going to plug this oil passage so for the cavite conversion all right yes we got a view of the chamber here but we also have more detailed video on the members only section so you got to check on that that's extremely more detailed yes now here we plug the 
in the gasket to the flange and you can see that line the outline is there so that's perfectly aligned Let's look at the other side here you can see on the number one or number four runner is misaligned two a three two and one all four are aligned differently so we got a port match and scribe aligned right okay and after here you scribe the line it's all good now we're gonna port match this is gonna be really good yes so now let's check it out here it is after port matching it so it was just a quick job so you know we just cleaned it up now it's perfectly port matched to the head itself so this is a match made in heaven that's really really good all right now let's see here all together now yes the pocket ported b16 head perfectly matched to the p30 ported intake manifold all this is going to be performing really good this b20 vtec on gsr can is going to be perfect we have the mods that we're going to do in the head we have a video here has over 30 plus thousand views this is done about a year ago you gotta check on that for this as mentioned earlier we're gonna move the dowel from here from the vtec style downward so it's gonna match the b20 this way we can use a crv oem gasket and we plug this oil to be drilled and tap it so now we're gonna be able to use a standard b20 or crv head gasket because some countries have a hard time acquiring cometic or getting cometic or it's a lot expensive like in our place so we do this to save a lot of headaches and it's also as good as oem so yep you gotta click here for the next one